Right here with Auburn women's basketball head coach Terry Williams Flanoy. Coach, coming off the Colorado tournament, just talk about what you saw of the team out in Colorado and you know, what you're taking away from last weekend. Um, you know, I thought we did well defensively You know, at, at spots. Um, at different times in the game, I saw a lot of fight in our kids. You know, both games we got got down a little bit, um, and we fought to get back into the game. Um, we fought in San Diego State, didn't didn't win it, you know, but we fought back to tie it 36-36, and then Texas A and M Corpus Christi, we had to unfortunately fight back again, and that one we did win. Hasina Muhammad and Tyrese Tanner led the team in scoring through the weekend. But you got big performances out of Tracy Tanner in the first game and Peyton Davis and Courtney Strait in the second game. Let's talk about how big it is for the team that you have. There's five different players that stepped up through the course of the weekend. I think for us to win ball games this year, we're going to need you know all 12 players at any given time. You know, so you know each game, you know we should really have a different player stepping up to help Tyrese and and Hasina. You know, those two are our leading scorers, but you know when we can get help from everybody else, especially Peyton inside and Courtney knocking down a few shots, I think it just helps. You know, us a lot. You know, I'm really waiting to get Blanche going. You know, I think you know we'll be even better. You know, when we got Blanche, Hasina, Peyton, and uh, you know. Uh, Tyrese, all four of our starters, you know, scoring that, that that's when we're really going to be good. All right, and going to Tulane, uh, Wednesday night game, just talk about Tulane, uh, they're undefeated, and what kind of season they're having. They're having a really good season. You know, the kids are playing hard. They got a great point guard, big point guard that's playing really well for them. Um, they, they're just, you know, having a great season thus far and they, they've had some good games on the road that they've won you know they went out and did really well at the Thanksgiving tournament you know they're just playing really well right now. This is the last game before the finals break so you know you won't play another game for about 10 days so what are you hoping to accomplish here before you go into that break? Right now we're just trying to you know get a few things fixed you know it's just still some bad errors and mistakes that we're making you know especially defensively so we're really just trying to clean up some of those things until we can get to the break and have more time um, after finals and get a little double sessions in and get a little bit more work in. I mentioned the last game before this break this is also just the next to last non-conference road game you pretty much get to spend the rest of the month at home how big will that be to for the team to finish out and you know, heading into this home stretch? I think it's always good when you can, you know, win on the road, you know, and playing on the road is always tough. You know, you're in a different arena, you know, you different crowd, you know, it's always good to play away at home to get yourself ready. Um, and then when you come back home, you come back home in front of your own crowd and your own people and, and just give yourself a chance to play better.